Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to the 12 days of minimalism challenge. 12 days of Christmas minimalism challenge. I feel like I've been calling it two different names the whole way through so far. Today is day six. So, so far we have had toys, clothes, toiletries, outerwear and bags, and then yesterday's was knickknacks. So today is cleaning products. I felt like I got really excited about them. Um, yeah, today we're gonna do cleaning products and I feel like it's a really good time if you are someone who's looking to switch over to natural products. If you're maybe thinking in the new year, I wanna start cutting out toxins, cutting out those nasty chemicals um, and just living a more natural life, then this could be the beginning of it. You don't have to wait until 2020. Or it could be your time to start using up those chemically products so that in the new year you can be completely clear of them and you can start fresh with some nice natural ones. So I know everyone's different. Some people like to have all of their cleaning products in one place, like normally it's under the sink cupboard, isn't it? Some people like to have them in each bathroom maybe like a cleaning spray in each room, I don't know. Um, for me personally, I have most of mine in my under the sink cupboard in the kitchen. And then because I'm in a townhouse, I do have a like toilet cleaner and a cleaning spray in my ensuite bathroom right on the top. And then I also have the same in the ensuite bathroom, not ensuite, the bar main bathroom on the middle floor, which is the boys floor and my office. And then everything else is kept downstairs. So if I've got like a normal cleaning spray, I'll just carry that around with me. Now I minimized my cleaning stuff so much when I did this two years ago. I honestly, I got rid of so much because we were going through a time three years ago. Was it three years ago that I did this? No, so but three years ago was when we had the really difficult year where we lost my sister-in-law to cancer and the same year my uncle we lost as well and my mum went through cancer but touch wood thank god she is fit and healthy now um but at the time it really made me look into chemicals and it was mainly cleaning products beauty products and then what I was eating as well so the following year I I'd started like implementing certain things like swapping out and the following year I really really made a big effort to cut out all toxins so now all of my cleaning products are natural all of my beauty products as well and I live as much of a plant-based diet as possible but I do still have some dairy and eggs um but I did go vegan for a while anyway I'm really 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 waffling anyway I got rid of all of my toxic chemicals all of the toxic cleaning products and switched over. I switched over to Method initially, um, which was amazing. There was quite like a big hype around Method around that time anyway, but I've actually gone one step further now and I use Co, which is spelled K-O-H, and I'll link a video below where I've used the Co cleaning products to clean my oven and also to do like a whole house clean with them. It's non unscented, but you can put essential oils in to give it a bit of a scent, so I've done that. I'll leave a link below to my scent as well. And actually, you can get a £5 off. I've got a code, a referral code that you can get £5 off. I could get £5 off before, um, but because so many people used the code last time, they actually said that I wasn't allowed to use mine anymore. You guys can still use it, but I can't. I, I don't benefit from it, but you guys can still use the code. <laughs> um, so I'll leave that below. It's a really, really amazing spray. Um, I got like the big set, which has like a litre, no, it's not a litre, it's a lot more than that. It's in like one of those like wine in a box boxes, um, and then you can decant it into, it's called the atomizer spray bottle, and then you get cloths and stuff with it as well. Anyway, so I use that cleaning spray for most things. You can use it, I use it on like my wooden surfaces, I use it for my floors and my spray mop. I use it on the sinks, I do the toilet with it, um, you can do fabrics, like there's loads and loads that you can use. So that's probably my one tip, is to get multi-purpose products because then you don't need to have too many other things. When I first switched over to Method, I went a bit crazy and I got like the wood polish, the 
kitchen spray, the bathroom spray, the bedroom spray, the floor, like two different floor ones, a wooden floor one and a just normal like tile floor one. And even though it was lovely because I knew that it was all non-toxic and the stuff does smell incredible and it is nice to have those different scents, it's so much easier now just to have the co. So I've got a couple of atomizers, which are the spray bottles, I've got the big box, I can just decant it in. I've got different cloths for like bedroom and bathroom and kitchen um, and windows. But yeah, you can use it on windows as well and it just, it saves so much space. In my new house, my kitchen is probably a quarter of the size of my old house. So I don't have a lot of storage space. I mean, I do, the bedrooms are big, but the kitchen is very small compared to the last one. So yeah, for me, having less cleaning products just made such a difference. And the fact that I can clean everything with it is amazing. But yeah, that's probably my biggest tip. If you are looking to switch out and you don't want those chemicals anymore, get rid of them, whether it's, obviously you can't really donate half used cleaning products, but see if any of your friends or family that still use those kind of products, if they want them. I know that I donated a few to friends and family. I was like, pretty much full bottle of cleaning spray and stuff. And yeah, try and make the switch over to multi-purpose products because it would just save so much space. So yeah, and then things like cleaning cloths, like if they are all threadbare and really, really stained, I know cleaning cloths aren't gonna be spotlessly clean, but just try and go through and you don't need to have 10 Brillo pads or 10 cleaning cloths and stuff like that. So just really try and minimize it down so that you've got you know, one that you can be using, if one's in the wash and then maybe you've got one spare. Try and have colour coded ones as well, so maybe blue for bathroom, pink for bedroom, yellow for kitchen. Um, and yeah, like I've, I feel like I've said this about 10 times now, but try and go to a multi-purpose product, something like Co that you can use on your windows, your floors, all of your different surfaces, and put it down your toilet, showers, everything and you'll just save so much space and you'll save money as well because you're not buying all of these different products that you don't need to be buying. And that's it, that is day five or day six, I can't remember what one it was, but cleaning products, minimize them. And if you can switch over to non-toxic because I feel like, I just remember thinking to myself, okay, so I've just put bleach on the floor to make it nice and clean for my children and then this is when like Jensen was a baby he'd drop his dummy on the floor put it in his mouth and I was just thinking that's bleach like obviously it wasn't like neat bleach but he's putting those chemicals into his mouth so how clean how good for him really is that um, and it just really made me think about those nasty chemicals and how they can enter our bloodstream and all the different things that they can cause so yeah have a little look into it. I've probably done a few videos actually on swapping to natural cleaning products, so I'll try and link those below. Um, and let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching, bye.